Good day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to be having a look at uh, how to work out percentages of a number. Okay, or, or you know, for example, how you work out ten percent of a number or twenty percent of a number. And this is uh, looking at it doing it the standard way that you probably learned at school. I also have some videos which are looking at some different ways of doing this. I'll put the links up for these now. Okay, but this is in response to somebody actually asking for just a video on the standard way of working out percentages of numbers. So here we go. Uh, first off, I think it's really important. Um, that you understand what percent means. Now percent literally means a number which is out of or divided by out of and cent means a hundred. Okay so cent is in cents in a dollar, there's a hundred cents in a dollar or century, there's a hundred years in a century. Okay so I think it's a really important first off you're, you're realizing that per cent means out of a hundred or especially in math terms maybe the word divided by a hundred. Okay, so just keep that in mind and we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. Okay, so an example of this might be a question uh, where you get to uh, say something what is, uh, what about 40% of 500? Okay, well we'll start with a nice easy one. So say you are asked to work 40% out of 500. Now, there's a couple of ways you can work this out, but the standard way of working this out is as follows. The first thing you do is you get this number here, this 500, and being percent, remember that means divided by 100, the first step which I do is I divide this number by 100. Okay, so 500 divided by 100, you cut up into 100 parts, okay, and this equals 500 divided by 100 equals 5. Now, you're trying to find out what 40% is like, what's 40 parts of these, okay? So, 40 times 5 equals 200. So that's our answer, 200. Okay, another way that you've probably been shown in the past, or possibly that, that it works out the same sort of thing with this, is you might have been shown it this way, where you get 40, you divide it by 100, okay, that's what that, that looks like there, so 40 divided by 100, and then you are times in this by... 500 over 1. And you're going to say, hey, wait a so we did it the opposite way. We did it where we got 500 and we divided it by 100 and then times it uh, by 40. This leads to the same sort of answer, okay? Okay, so it doesn't actually matter which one you divide by 100, okay? All right, so, so I don't want to lead to any confusion there, all right? But this is the way I like to think about it. I like to think about this is a number which is actually being cut up into 100 parts. But that's just the way I think about it. Okay, so let's have a look at another example here. So let's have a look at, uh, say, oh, I'll get rid of that. Let's have a look at, say, uh, what about we do 10% of 90? Okay. So remember, again, we're cutting one of these numbers up into 100 parts. Whether or not you decide to do it to this one or to this one, it's actually irrelevant as long as you, if you cut this one up, you times it by this, or if you cut this one up to 100 bits, you times it by this, it actually doesn't matter, okay? But again, I like to cut this one up by, I guess it doesn't matter, but it matters to me. So 90 divided by 100, for you guys who are good with dividing by 100, so 90 divided by 100, this is a nice simple calculation. All you're doing is, there's one, two zeros here, you're moving a decimal place, which is here, two times. You're dividing, so the number's gonna get smaller, one, two. Okay, so the decimal place is here. So we end up with 0.9 and if you remember we're times in this by 10. Okay, so 0.9 times 10 okay, again we're just timesing by 10 so the number's going to get bigger and the decimal place is going to move one time this way. So our number our answer becomes 9. So again, how would you write this out the standard way? You might write this out like this. Uh, you might actually write this as 10 over 100 times 90 over 1, where what you did is you went 10 times 90 is 900, and 100 times 1 is 100, so 100, 900 divided by 100 equals 9. Okay, it's the same answer. Okay, and I think it's really handy that you actually sort of can do this, with, that you can do this with the numbers, that you can actually think about them as, as being like this, okay? Uh, that, you know, that you, you, this is the different ways you could approach exactly the same question, so to speak. Okay, what about this one? What about we do 15% of 110? 
Okay, so 15% of 110. Okay, remember there's two ways that I can sort of uh, attack this, but I'm going to do it my way first, but I like to cut up this, I, I like to divide this number here by 100. So I like to divide it by 100, and I get the answer, moving the decimal place one, two times of 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, and then I'm timesing this number by 15. So 1.1 1 .1 times 15. Now, hopefully you're very good at these. The answer to this is going to be 1, 6, 5, okay, and hopefully that should, one, so it's 16.5, losing the plot here, there's one decimal place here, so this is actually going to be 16.5, okay, I apologise for that. Okay, so it's always good with that. Occasionally, you just want to look at your answer and think, is it realistic? You know, hey, wait a second, I'm 15%. It's a part of 110. It's not going to be bigger than that. Okay, so yeah, good to revise your answer sometimes. Almost came close to making a big mistake. But, okay, let's have a look at this, how you do this the standard way. Okay, you, you might also be used to doing. Okay, so what we would do is we'll go 15 over 100 times 110. A lot of people put this over 1, and then what you do is you get equals 15 times 110, which is going to be uh, 1,650, okay? For you doing 11, this is a basic 11 times table. There's a bit of a trick for doing these. Look on my channel if you want to see that. Divided by 100, and this equals, again, it's moving a decimal place one, two times, so 16.5. Okay. What about one last one of these? Okay. Try to do these yourself too, by the way. I, th I think you'll, you'll probably be okay. So, uh, what about we do... Uh, oh, we're getting too excited already. I'll, I'll cross that out, I think. We work out uh, 6% of... I was about to put it over 100 straight away, because that's, that's often I think about it being 6 one-hundredths as well. Um, what about 6% of... Uh, let's do... Uh, 45 okay so how are we going to work this out so what we're going to do is we are going to there's two ways we can attack this possibly you want to pause it and give both a go okay both are equally as valid um so what i'd do with this is i would again i would get this number and i would divide it by 100 and i'm going to end up with the answer moving the decimal place one two times of 0 0.45 and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to times it by this number six so What's the answer we get with that? Well, you might realise that if we're, we can double this and get 0.9, and it's going to be the same as totaling it by 3, so we're going to end up with the answer of 2.7, OK? A couple of you guys might uh, end up getting a calculator. I'll do one of my uh, maths tricks for doing this, OK? So hopefully you got the answer of 2.7. So how are you going with those? I'll just do that again the standard way, um, and hopefully we get the same answer, just to double check. So um, let's have a look at this. So, okay, um, we go 6 over 100, and we're going to times this by 45 over 1, and this is going to equal 6 times 45. The answer to this is going to be 270, and divided by 100, and dividing by 100, 1, 2, this is going to be moving the decimal place 1, 2 times, so the answer is 2. And that's the way you can deal with percentages. Now, uh, throughout this, I'll put a little link up, um, and this is for looking at a way that I think it's a, it's, a, it's a better way of working these out mentally. Okay, so hopefully what you can do is you can go have a look at this, and it will be a bit of a help. Okay, so this is different ways of looking at percentages. I think it's a really good way of uh, doing it. Okay, so hopefully that helped. See you next time.